Hi, brothers and sisters. It's Pastor Tim Henderson. Want to bring you something that's going on right now that's happening this week uh, regarding Syria and the Middle East that is lining up for Ezekiel's war. I, these things just keep moving and moving. I also, I want to say, I have been praying. I see the prayer request. I appreciate the prayers for me. And I, we all need to pray for one another right now in these final moments of the end of days. I have never lived in or seen such a time where the attacks on God's people have been so great. Now, some people say, oh, come on, there are people losing their lives in other countries, and that is true. That persecution is horrific and great. Well, in areas where the enemy can't do that, the attacks on God's people are great. In the past six weeks, I've had at least six funerals that I've been involved with, and now Sunday morning, two, two mothers of families in our church went home to be with the Lord, and we praise God that they're in the presence of the Lord. I I feel for and, and love these families. Little jealous that my sisters are with the Lord already, but we must occupy and redeem the time. But I see attacks in every area, whether it's health, um, mental, physical, emotional, financial, <laughs> you name it, we see the attacks on ministries, on just every area of believers' lives, we, we see just the attacks coming, and they have been incessant and nonstop. I want to tell you something. God loves you fiercely and passionately. Be in your word, pray in the spirit, and look up, for our redemption draws nigh. Now, what do I want to share with you? Russia, Russia that has been controlling Syria anyway, Russia that's really controlling the Sudan, it, listen, there's no mystery to me that one of the motivations for Roche, for Gog and Magog to come from the north, that's Russia, with the other countries that Ezekiel outlines, Russia, Iran, Turkey, Sudan, Libya, Turkey is heavily controlling Libya, Russia, Sudan, and now we know, even months ago, I reported when the United States and Israel... President Trump and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, they knew and they agreed that Russia could control that southern border of Syria, which is at the northern part of Israel. We're talking a stone's throw away, folks. This, this is how close. It's like us crossing a state line in the United States. It's that close. And so now, on the 20th, Russia, Turkey, and Iran are meeting, I believe, in Geneva, and they're going to rewrite the Constitution. And they're basically, it's going to be a new Syria that is controlled. Putin is, is clever. That is controlled by Putin. They will keep Bashar al-Assad in the mix of that, probably almost like, you know, I see it almost like the king or queen of England, the queen of England in a, in a capacity uh, that he'll be exalted. However, let's make no mistake, Rosh Russia is, is in control. And this is another step toward Ezekiel's war. Now, we know Isaiah 17, the complete ruin of Damascus, Syria, is going to happen, as the word says. The countries are in, not only are they there, they're now establishing a new order that will obviously become a part of the new world order. If we can see these things happening, you must know, you've got to know that our redemption draws nigh, that our blessed hope, that the Lord himself is going to come back and he's going to, hi Meg, my kitty, he is going to snatch us away, the harpazo, it's happening. It, it, it's going to happen in the twinkling of an eye. In one fortieth of a second, it's going to happen. These are exciting times we live in. I want to encourage you. I know, I know, I have been praying for you. 
I know my brothers and sisters. I've been praying for my brothers and sisters around the world, for those in Iran who are suffering, for those in China who are suffering and being persecuted, and the believers in Syria. And listen, in, in parts of Africa, under the the torture of Boko Haram, uh, just everywhere, around the world, for this for these immigrants that have been coming, and mostly middle-aged to young men, but they bring these women and children. You, The atrocities that these people that are being trafficked are facing, I've been praying for them. Listen, I could go on and on and on about the ills and evil and the wickedness going on. Everything is converging. But this is very critical. This is a critical piece to the puzzle that Russia... Turkey and Iran are meeting, and they are going to rewrite the Constitution for Syria. I'm telling you, this is this is has such great prophetic implication. Well, brothers and sisters, what do we do? We occupy and redeem the time. Stay strong, my brothers and sisters. Pray for one another. I listen. Even as I say this, I'm I'm going to come against the spirit of depression and anxiety, and and suicide. The spirit that's behind it. Father, in Jesus' name. I lift my brothers and sisters to you right now, and I ask you to send your ministering angels to surround them and fight the spiritual battle. Holy Spirit, quicken them. Give them the urgency to be in your word and to pray in the spirit. Now, I bind these foul spirits that would try to attach and bring depression and anxiety and suicidal thoughts. Mm -mm. We call that assignment null and void in the name of Jesus. We loose your shalom, your peace that is perfect, whole, complete, and passes all understanding. And we declare and decree those, those spirits, that assignment is broken now by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. We pray this. We believe it and we receive it in the name above every name, the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Oh, Jesus, we thank you in your mighty name. Amen. My brothers and sisters, do not let the attacks are increasing. We need to pray more for one another. Know you are loved fiercely and passionately. And I'm telling you, he is coming so soon. We are in the final moments of the end of days. Tick tock, tick tock, our bridegroom cometh. God bless you and have an awesome rest of your day.